Hey there, CPO here, and i um, pretty jazzed right now. I just finally got the tricopter actually flying normally. So this video is probably what I would consider to be a re-maiden flight. Uh, my original maidens were um, short and sporadic, and I was having some brownout issues. Uh, turns out my ESCs, which were built inside the body, were overheating. Uh, I moved the ESCs to the arms, and everything is working uh, just fine. So I'm not going to make you watch this whole video, but I was really trying to just keep it close to the ground so when it failed, assuming it might again, uh, I didn't have to rebuild it again. Uh, to be honest with you, I'm pretty tired of balancing props. But I did get like about a six-minute flight uh, in the basement, just kind of making sure that everything was going fine. Then I took it outside and did a proper flight, uh, flew around, got some elevation, did some pitch pumps, things like that, uh, and everything is working great. So uh, I still need to do some fine tuning. I haven't done any tuning yet. It's cold and windy outside, so probably not the best place or time uh, to try and tune. So anyway, let me jump to the end here, and uh, then we'll take a look at what the tricopter looks like with the relocated ESCs. So here's the new look. Not quite as clean as it was before, but I actually kind of like it. Um, as you can see, all my ESCs are out from the body. The front two are mounted to the arms, and then the back one is mounted uh, basically on top of my mounting plate for the KK board. Now you have to go look at the rest of the videos to see what I mean. And I do have all of my wiring harness now stuffed inside the two body panels. I actually kind of like that better. I didn't like the way the wiring harness was hanging out there before anyway. So that's it. Uh, hope you enjoyed watching. Thanks for uh, hanging in there with me, and I'll catch you on the next one.